Hello, just a real quick video. Um, I was introduced to this uh, little chart uh, just last night. I never really look at uh, stuff like this, but um, I, I had a little look at it. And it's basically the uh, the crypto market cap that excludes Bitcoin, so essentially altcoin dominance, altcoin movement. I was having a little look because I was told that there's a death cross incoming, and there definitely is a death cross incoming. In fact, the death cross is about to occur probably. Um, on the daily chart looks like uh, by tomorrow so uh, that is definitely a, a bearish signal without question um, and so when we look at this we can see that there was a, a big move here by the time the big move was made we saw that there was a golden cross um, and then from that golden cross there um, we had what looks to let's just measure this one out and a golden cross took place after a big move and um, measure it actually on that just at the top of that wick and we had a move up 36%. And that generally coincides with just generally the way that golden crosses and death crosses work out. And yeah, it's and it could always be more, it can always be less. But generally would say that there's uh, there's a 36 oh and 35% movement to be had. So if we have a look here, so if we have this death cross, let's just say we have it now. Um what am I doing? Um if we have it now on this bottom of this wick, where is that likely to take us? Uh, down to this level here, uh, which the last time we were there was actually all the way back here, and that is um, was actually back in February. So it looks like we're looking, you know, the market in general for altcoins could be looking to find their way right back down to their original. And maybe, maybe even some of them find new lows. Now that actually has happened with some of these um, crypto, um, some some of these altcoins, um, things like I think um, T Rex. And this is just off the top of my head, and and um, and Ada perhaps, and uh, Stella. There's a few of them that are pretty much at the levels that they were back here. Um, already, and then there's obviously some that have come out since then, uh, who have plummeted lower. So, uh, and some that are making their way down to this level. So it actually could be, it could hold up this one. But then um, one thing I thought I'd just have a quick look at when you go back in time, right? We see this huge sell-off here, and this is all the way back in April 2018, and the last time we saw a, uh, a sort of a, well, it's not the last time we saw a death cross, but we saw a little dip of a death cross here after a bear, uh, after a long-term bear trend, and this um, this was. The big, the big um, parabolic move that happened in that we all know of um, with the whole market, and so the death cross took place here and actually found a a, a big dip, um, uh, a little dip, sorry, and then a big move up, uh, creating a well, you could call it a dead cat bounce, really, uh, before it continued with its long term sort of trend. So what we're looking at here is we did have a golden cross here. It was a pretty si simple, sort of pathetic one, similar to what we saw on this one before we saw the big downwards trend. So, so is this death cross going to play out, and is it going to last a long time, or is it going to be a little simple one uh, like we saw here, followed by a big move up, and then maybe another one down? It's very difficult to say. Um, the death cross is happening. It's definitely going to happen. So that would always say to me that the market in general, and this is the market, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to affect your altcoin, the one that you're specifically following. But it just means the market in general is looking for a little more hurt, a little bit more pain. Some may avoid that if they've already bottomed out already. I've noticed that Cardano is bouncing at the moment, pretty much on on its own. Um, things like Ripple. Have uh, found uh, a pretty much a new low um, since that area that we spoke about back in um, February, March. So, you know, are all coins going to be plummeting, or is this going to resolve itself to the up after a, let's just say a few weeks? Because there is a lot of people shouting for an alt season, uh, but, but when Bitcoin dominance is so high. It's difficult to say if there's an alt season around the corner or not. It keeps dipping beneath that 68.4% dominance with Bitcoin. Uh, really, what we need to see is it to sort of at least go by down by another percent, if not a percent and a half, down to below 66 would be great. Then we might be talking about an alt season. But there are coins that are bottoming out without question. 
but the, but the whole market is uh, looking pretty tired and drained at the moment. We are seeing some big moves with some random little coins and low market caps, uh, but generally across the board it's um, well you could probably say it's bearish. And if this death cross takes place, then yeah, that would signify a, a bearish trend to the down. But let's let's keep our fingers crossed, and in, in, in the event that uh, this um, this death cross is simply just uh, created as a result of this huge bearish trend that we've already had taking place from the top to the bottom, we'll just measure that one out um, all the way down to there. That's um, that's 46, 47 percent uh, retracement from its high there. Um, so that's a pretty big move already for another one for another 35 percent on top of that. I mean, we're we're really talking big moves now, so. Now when we have a look at these indicators here, what we see is that um, that is definitely a bearish signal that uh, looks pretty bearish, but however, we might be looking for a little tinge up today, so it's very difficult to say when Bitcoin's basically not moving whatsoever, it's dancing around that 10,000 area. Alts, I, I, I've been looking at other signals here and I, I do see certain alts looking pretty positive and, and ready to perhaps maybe start to try to make a recovery. Obviously this is an entire market cap chart so it's all encompassing. There's going to be plenty of moves up, plenty of moves down always with alts. Um, they don't have to follow this, this, this chart but generally speaking it doesn't look great and I know for a fact that things like Litecoin are still up. Uh, considerably from where they were back in this area, <coughs> so there's plenty of array, way, uh, places for that to move down. There's also uh, quite a lot, uh, quite a lot of other coins that have made big moves that could could quite easily want to come down as a result of the market having the uh, the life sucked out of it for another 35% move down. Anyway, I'll stop rambling and I'll leave that with you there. I hope you have a nice day and take it easy. And uh, yeah, have a good one.